Hello, hello, my people, family. I'm gonna make a quick video about the MetaTrader 4. Okay, this is your first time. You just, just sign up with IML. So basically, you need to download the MetaTrader app in your app. If you got iPhone, Apple Store, you got Android, and you Play Store. So you go and download your MetaTrader. Make sure that you download the MetaTrader 4, okay? That's the one that I, you had to um, download. I already had it download, so I'm just gonna open. Okay, when you open, you're gonna have to, um, this one is gonna be uh, blank, right? I have already created my demo account. So you go and open demo account and then this one is gonna be in black as well. The broker that I use is Tradeways. So Tradeways demo. Then you fill it out your information, email, and then it's important. And then account information, you put this TWEC and USD. The leverage that you have to use, make sure you use the maximum one, 1,000. And then deposit, I always use 3,000, so that's a number that I, most likely, a number that you're gonna use. You can use until $5 million. Um, so these, um, I remember that we don't, um, we don't support or recommend any trade. That's a trade, that that's a broker. That's a broker that I use, but you can use any. That broker, the only thing is they don't trade a, Crypto. If you want to trade crypto, you gotta use. You may want to use, yeah, yeah, FX. But you gotta do your diligence and your search. Okay. Okay. Once you create you your demo account, so um, then you go to. Um, you're gonna have your three thousand dollars, right? So, on this uh, double arrow on the left, you're gonna have probably like four or five pairs. I already had some pairs, so. Um, so that's why uh, you're gonna see um, different at activities here. So um, basically, um, if you want at any pair, you see the the cross on the top right. You click it there. You then you got a um, a, a little um, like thing on the right. The symbol on the right. So, so like a loop or something. Then you're gonna add the purse that you want. Let's say so you wanna add GBP, um, I don't know, NCD Euro. I, I pretty much add all the um, the purse that I that I that I want. So you will be in NCD. Let's say that's the part that you wanna add. As soon as you click the little symbol, you're gonna get that, and then it's a great the, the pound is the pound against the New Zealand. Then you click it, and as soon as you click it, you go back and you see how that the new part is gonna be. Now I'm um, I'm recording this video on a Saturday, so for that reason, um. Uh, the the pairs they're not moving now they're not moving because it's it's so we're gonna put an example right so let's say that you wanna create a new order so when you create a new order you're gonna have the first thing is market execution if you got an apple it says probably in some computer in some phone says instant execution so market execution is when you're gonna place an order, either sell or buy, and you place it uh, on, on, on the current price. Then you're gonna have four of the of the, of the schedule um, orders. That means that you don't need to be in front of your computer. You can place this order when you sleep, when you before you go to sleep, or in the morning before you go to work. They call it buy limit sell limit, buy stop, and sell stop. So this order, in all of them, you need to tell the, the system what's the price that you wanna the, the, the trade to enter. So you kinda like 
program, it says, okay, in, in 40 pips, uh, well, as soon as the, the price hit this level, I want to enter. And then on the right, you're going to see is on green is going to be your take profit and on the left and the right here is take profit and the left it's going to be your uh, stop loss so i'm i'm putting a random numbers here because so if you realize the the word place is 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 grayed out it's because i'm not using a, a number let me see if i trying to use if i use it like a real uh real number let's say that I want that trade in a sales to be in 29. Um, um, okay. And, uh, and I want Okay, so basically you you kind of like telling the um the system, uh okay when when I have this this price here, I want you to um I want you to activate, right and and that's why now you see the the place is is grayed out, so the market is closed now, so I I can actually place an order that uh, is going to be is telling me it's good example that the market is closed but in any way that uh, okay another thing that i'm going to explain you now is the difference between those uh orders so i got uh, something for you here so when you place in a buy stop basically you place in an order above the the price is uh and price keep going up that means that uh, you are in a price and then you, according to your analysis, you understand that the price is going to go up on a certain level. So you place that order above the current price. When you put a sell stop, is basically the, op the opposite. You place in the order below the price, thinking that uh, the price is going to go up. The most common one are by limit. By limit is, let's say that you are, you did an analysis. Remember that we don't do analysis and, and we use, uh, in my case, I use TradingView. Some people use MetaTrader 4 to do the analysis in the computer and then they place, we place the orders on the phone. So by limit means that, uh, let's say that you are in a retracement, you are, according to your analysis, the price is dropping and then you know that it's going to, hit a, 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 a support a line and then the price is going to bounce up. So that's when you place a buy limit. When you place a sell limit, it's, it's the other way. You are, the price is in a, in a, in a downtrend, you get it in a, in a retracement. So you place a, a sell limit on your resistant line or your resistant price or the place above the price and the price then goes down. So if you want this uh, little chart, I can send it to you. You can request it. So that's basically the difference on the on the on the on the order. So when you place a, a, a an order, let's say so you can get in right Euro USD. So you know that you got market execution by limiting all these different that I already explained. The next thing that I, that you're gonna be looking at is your lot. Okay, if you put 001, you know that you are uh, placing an order, risking or willing to win 10 cents per pip. That's mean 001, that's a micro. Then if you go use a macro, it's 0 0.10, that's mean a dollar per pip. And then if you want to go standard, it's 11. 1.0 that's a standard that mean ten dollars per pip remember that we always says that you need to um to put uh at least three percent of your account 
it's really important that you know how to calculate PIP. Anyway, then trading views, there's a PIP calculators. So if this is a market execution, depending on, on what you're gonna put, you, you may wanna, let's say, take profit. Market execution, that means that you are half an hour, like you wake up and then you says the market is currently going to the direction that you want. Okay, you want 20 pip. 20 pip is basically, remember the pip is the last four numbers. Um, so if, when you go 20 pips, you're gonna go one six, 29 six, and then this is something that you need to go to the academy and learn because when you are placing a sales, it's different when you're placing a, a buy. So, um, Okay, so let's say that that's, that's a hypothetically number that I'm using, right? So, and then I go ahead and play buy, and then I'm gonna be in the order. Of course, the market is closed at this moment. This is a, a sell limit, an order that I placed uh, on, on Thursday, I believe, Friday, and the, 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 the trade is, is going on. The trade hasn't been active yet, because according, if you see here, below the GBP, JBY, sell limit at 0.50, which is basically $5 per pip. Uh, the price that I want the order to be activated is 148.677, and the, and the market close in one, on the right. You see 148.0887. So I'm probably almost 60, 59 pips away from this one. I had to do my, my uh, my analysis again to see if that trade is gonna go my way or if no i'm gonna have the opportunity to delete it and the same time you can modify that that you can modify as soon as you place an order you modify that and uh, in the beginning the only thing that i want you to understand is how to get your um open a, a demo account put the, the the broker and that's immediately immediately as soon as you place a you're gonna have your account then you the, you're gonna have like four or five pairs and then you had to add it good thing about it or I haven't done it but you you can like put it in, in, in order alphabetic order so let's say that I want to start with the A's and B's then they have to be, they got some C's here. So that in that sense, if, if somebody call a, um, like an order on you, you already know, uh, you don't, I mean, right now, it says you got like 20. So you don't wanna be like losing time, like I was, oh, what is this part, I don't know if I have it. It's easy for you to, uh, to look it up, okay? Okay, this is just uh, me. Perfect. Hopefully, this is uh, helpful for you. If you got any any questions, at the same time, you on your form, I personalize this one. I change the color. You're gonna be able to see the charts, different um, time frames. But that one is something more more advanced, of course. All right. Okay. If you got any question, call me. You can always. Uh, Follow me on Instagram and Arjun Mencila. I have as well um, like a business account of Mencila Group, which basically we have super valuable information about forest. You guys remember I did. this is the convention that we got. Okay. All right, guys. I bless you.